Hi everyone and a very pleasant good evening to you wherever you may be. How's everyone doing? Thanks for checking out True Blue Bobbleheads. We are the True Blue Bobblehead crew. I'm Turbo. And I'm Ben. And I'm Big Worm. And we have Tani behind the camera. Alright guys, so today we're going to go ahead and talk about the Maury Wills Bobblehead. Alright, so the Dodgers played the Phillies on July 6, 2015 and they won by the score of 10-7. to Alright, so usually at this point we go ahead and jump into the box. Um, but we actually have a special guest of the True Blue Bobblehead crew, Gabe, that's going to go ahead and show you guys the box real quick. How you doing everybody? My name is Gabriel and uh, we're going to talk about the Maury Wills box here. As you can see, it has a nice display on the outside where you can see here. And on the sides of the box we have the 2015 promotional schedule. And we have a couple of facts about him, that he was a seven time All-Star. And on the back of the box is an inspirational picture of him sliding. And that's all I have for today. Back to the crew. Alright, thanks Gabriel. So we wanted to go ahead and show you, um, before we get into the Maury Wills bobblehead, the first bobblehead that was given out of him. And that's this one here of him. It's a dual bobblehead of him and Don Drysdale. Alright, so before we get in the ratings, we're going to go ahead and give you guys a breakdown of our rating scale. So the crew rates each bobblehead on a scale of 1 to 5. Each bobblehead starts off with 1 point. The bobblehead has the ability to earn an extra point in four different categories. Alright guys, so now we're going to jump into the categories. The first category that we're going to talk about is likeness. So does this bobblehead of Maury Wells look like Maury Wells? Um, and I think in all of our agreements, it doesn't really look like him. And the reason why we feel it doesn't look like him is just how it was designed. You know, they, they have a low cut on the neck, so it kind of takes away from the face in exactly looking like him. So, um, like I said, in all of our agreements, I think the category, is, it deserves a zero this time. Yeah, and to add on to that, the likeness, we're looking at like the facial features. So just to add a little bit onto that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the detail real quick. So as far as the detail, they did really good with that time uh, era from when Maury Wills actually played. He does have the old school uh, cleats on with uh, the black cleats because nowadays players usually wear the same color as their team. So usually a Dodger player nowadays would probably wear blue cleats. They have the old-fashioned stirrups, okay? And now the pants and the uniform are pretty much the same. I mean, they are the iconic Dodger jersey. Um, Dodger logo on the top, number 30 right here. Maury Wills uh, did have a lot of pictures with him wearing those Dodger blue sleeves, so that's pretty right, too. What I like on the back is that the number is just 30, no name, because they... At that time, they didn't wear their last name on the back of their jersey, and the number was up pretty high, so that's pretty darn accurate. Um, and, of course, the uh, Dodger logo at the top. So, uh, for detail, I think uh, for that time frame, we're going to go ahead and give it a uh, one point for that. All right, so the next category is the pose. Um, now, that pose of Maury Will sliding, as you can see on the box here, I mean, it's, it got him pretty good in that pose. So... In that sense, the only thing that we can think of that we didn't really care for was the name, how it's it shows like on kind of on the side of the bobblehead and not really on the front like how it would normally be on the other bobbleheads. However, it is a good pose that he's in for this bobblehead. So for this category, we are actually going to give this bobblehead a point for that category. All right, great. So now we're going to jump into the standout. You know, is this a standout bobblehead in? And uh, kind of what we've came up with is, yes, it is actually a standout. Um, because when we have it on, you know, on deck with our sets at home, um, it stands out. You know, Maury Wells, he's sliding. is kind of different than the, you know, the majority of the ball heads where they're standing up. They either have a bat in their hand or they're throwing the ball. Um, this one, he's actually, you know, going in for the slide. And it's pretty cool. It's unique. And uh, so for this category, we're going give to give it a one. It, it's, it's a standout bobblehead. All right, guys, so with all those categories combined um, and the points we allow for you know, each category, one point in each category, this bobblehead gets an overall rating from the True Blue Bobblehead crew of A4. So that's the rating for this bobblehead, and the Maury Wills bobblehead is A4. All right, guys, so we're very excited that Maury Wills finally got his own bobblehead. You know, he's been an outstanding Dodger for such a long time, and he's been a part of the franchise since the 1950s. And in fact, in 1951, he actually came up with the Brooklyn Dodgers. So, like I said, he's been a very good Dodger, loyal Dodger to the organization. And we're very excited that he finally got his own bobblehead this time. Yeah, and we're also excited because not only was he a three-time World Series champion with the Dodgers, but he was, yeah, three-time. He was also an MVP for the Dodgers, seven-time All-Star, and a two-time Gold Glove winner. So that's pretty awesome. Sure was. 
Yeah, and if they could pick any pose to uh, portray Maury Wills on, it's this pose of him stealing a base and sliding into the base because he was no known for stealing bases. One season he had about 104 stolen bases. It's so a record. Yeah, so I mean that's just amazing. I mean he was an awesome Dodger and he definitely deserved his own bobblehead because he did have a uh, one before with a dual bobblehead. Um, so yeah, I mean definitely I guess we could all agree that he definitely deserved this bobblehead. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, guys, so that's the end of our review. Thanks for checking us out, and check out and look out for our next review. Thank you for checking out the True Blue Bobblehead crew. You can also find them on Facebook at True Blue Bobbleheads and Instagram at True underscore Blue underscore Bobbleheads, Twitter at True Blue Crew 2, Snapchat at True Blue Crew 23. And remember, stay true, stay blue. We are the True Blue Bobblehead crew.